Eh, god afton. I kväll hade jag tänkt att vi skulle ägna oss åt svensk körmusik och det är stycken av olika stilarter som vi har under förberedelse för en konsert. No person has left a greater legacy in choral music than Erik Eriksson. He was a perfectionist. He had a vision and he was determined to achieve it. The ultimate blend of voices, rhythmical accuracy and, of course, perfect intonation. During the 30 years he was the conductor of the Swedish radio choir, he recorded not only the concerts, but every rehearsal. In the late 40s, Eriksson presented contemporary music to his choir, and it was so difficult to sing. It made the singers moan and cry. They said, this is impossible. Today, many choirs in Sweden and in other countries sing those very same pieces thanks to his groundbreaking work. Producers at EMI Records were so impressed by concerts they heard on the radio that they gave Eriksson the incredible challenge of recording as much of the advanced European choir music that they could find. These recordings resounded all over the world and uh, people started talking about the Eriksson sound and the Swedish choral miracle. Erik Eriksson had beautiful and supple hands and a unique way of communicating with them, shaping and molding the sounds with his gestures. And he generously shared his technique with thousands of younger choir conductors all over the world. And the fact that he was such a devoted teacher is another reason for his outstanding legacy.